At the fringe of the country, tucked next to the Ukrainian border, is Romania's most isolated region, Mara Morish. Mara Morish is fiercely traditional. Its centuries-old ways endure. Horse carts are commonplace. The men wear distinctive straw hats. The women are tough as the land. People work the fields as they have for generations. Village roads are lined with ornate wooden gateways. These gateways are intentionally elaborate, designed to show off the family's wealth. The gates protect family compounds. Along with the home, you'll find a barn, a garden, and an old-time dipping well. And if you've never tried one of these, locals are happy to demonstrate. Can you show me the well? No. Yeah? What do we have? Yeah? No. Like this. OK. Nice. OK, so into the horses. There we go. We're staying at a farmhouse B&B. Our host ritualistically closes the gate behind us. People here are superstitious, especially after dark. It's dinner time, but first, we're getting a little tour. Traditional Romanians collect their nicest belongings into one room designed to impress their guests. Heirloom dowries are lovingly displayed. These are bridal gifts going back generations. Tonight, we're being treated to a farmer's feast. The food is typical of the region, rustic, delicious, and farm fresh. Our host, Anna, is determined to feed us well. Hearty salads, cabbage rolls, polenta is a daily treat around here, and pork is big. In Romania, like everywhere else, food is especially tasty when it's local and fresh. And everything goes better with the local firewood. After dinner, the evening continues in the music room, where Anna's husband gets out his violin and shares some rousing folk music. Am avut bine în lume, 